In this video, I'm going to be giving you kind of a blueprint for building your own defense in Madden or just kind of a blueprint that you need to have in your mind when you're talking about building a defense in Madden 23. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch the video. And if you want to learn all of my defensive tips and tricks, I would really encourage you. I've got a ton of defensive full ebooks. Uh, that really walk you through the entirety of a scheme. And if you want to check that out, that'll be linked down in the description. You can get all of my ebooks by joining my Patreon. One of the books that we're going to be talking about in this video is my most recent defensive ebook, which is The Big Nickel Over G. And I actually think this is probably my best work of the year. And we're just going to be giving you kind of a skeleton, if you will, or a blueprint for a way to think about defense. And the first thing that we are going to be talking about in this video in my opinion in order to have a successful defense you need to be able to have the ability to be able to blitz and ideally when you're talking about sending pressure you want to have the ability to at least at the bare minimum blitz from man to man in zone coverage now what we're going to do here in this big nickel defense is we're actually going to turn auto flip off and we're going to put our auto alignment to base and the reason we're going to do those two things is it's going to significantly help with disguising the coverage and then from there we can put our option defense on conservative now today i'm going to show you one of my favorite blitzes um, specifically for gun bunch now another thing that you need to think about when we're talking about building the perfect defense or building a good defense is you need the ability to blitz from man and from zone and ideally in my personal opinion you need a blitz scheme that will attack the offensive pass protection schemes what i mean by pass protection schemes is there are generally speaking one of three or four ways that people are going to pass protect the first one is they're going to run bunch and they're going to have a running back on one side and the tight end on the other side and they're going to max protect that that's one option second can we get pressure against a two tight end um or what i mean by that is like an under center type of set where they can block the running back either way and they can have a tight end in to bat into bat as well the third way though is something we're seeing a lot this year that's making a comeback and that's play action pass protection so you do have blitzes that are going to work against play action um if they play action the running back and block the tight end are we still going to be able to get pressure those are all things that we want to think about just in terms of our pressure but today we're just going to show you a real simple um, mini scheme here this is the strong safety lb blitz that we have in our art it's already in our audibles and we have the ss blitz 2. those are going to be our two main blitzes for this defense and we're going to come out an ss blitz 2 for consistent consistency now one of the other things that I just want to say quickly in defense, we're going to get into more of this as the as the training camp series progresses. I think it makes a lot of sense to come out in the same defense every single time. What I mean by the same defense every single time is it's going to give your opponent the same pre-snap tell every single time. Every defense in Madden has uh, what are called tells. Essentially, offenses base that around. Whereas, like, if you're in man coverage, there's a tell. If you're in zone coverage, there's a tell. If you're in cover two, there's a tell. And so what you want to do is kind of understand that that's just the way it is. And the, one of the biggest tips I can give you about the defensive side of the ball is, do you know how to fix the problems that your defense has whether you run a 3-4 4-3 a nickel 3-3-5 a nickel normal a big nickel over g a dollar a dime 2-3-6 those all have issues and as a good defense you can run almost any defense anymore you just need to know how to fix it when things start to be problematic so for example ss blitz 2 let's just talk about it we're going to send a simple blitz off of the right side one of the biggest tips I can give you about blitzing here, we're going to show blitz. You see that this gives us this alignment where we can bring this safety down and have the ability to send pressure off of the left side as well. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to pinch our line, crash out. So we show blitz, we pinch our line, crash out. Now, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see that there are these shadows um, or these little bars underneath the center. What this basically means is actually a user rush. So if I switch to Vita Vea, you see that that bar still is there. If I switch to Sue, however, the bar changes and goes to the other side of the formation. Um, and then if I go out here, now I'm just lined up with a tackle. Essentially, this is talking about who is your player 
um, going to occupy if they blitz. You can tell this by looking at Sherman. You see the left side gets occupied, the right side if I'm David. If I'm back here, it's just the tackle. And if I continue to back up, you see if I blitz, I can still kind of move him through all of these things. So that's just something um, to kind of keep in the back of your mind. So when you blitz your user, it's going to engage those people that are in the shadow. So if we want to send pressure off of the right side of the screen, we want to engage the center. So ideally, we don't want to stand out here, even though this can sometimes work. Ideally, that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is stand in a place where we can shoot the run and a place where we can still occupy the center. Those are important tips as well. So we're just going to stand right here. And what you're going to see is we're going to get simple edge pressure off of the right edge. Now, I want to show you something that is also, I think, really interesting. Whenever I audible from strong safety blitz to to strong safety LB blitz, did you notice that nobody moved? If I unbase the line, you will see that everybody moves. But when I'm in big nickel, this is one of the biggest secrets, best kept secrets about big nickel, is when you come out in a zone defense and you audible to a man defense, they keep their zone alignment if you are in baseline. Now, what I can also do here, you see when I show blitz, this guy comes in just like he's going to blitz, right? Now, there's a little bit of a tell on the outside edges, but we can easily repress these guys. And what I like to do is just man that blitzing linebacker up on the tight end. He's actually in better alignment to get him anyway. And then I'll be right here. And you'll see that now we're going to send this from a man-to-man -man pressure look. And as you can see, the play comes in perfectly. These are some basic principles for pressure. You want to have the ability to send pressure from man-to-man -man and from zone. Because ideally, the route combinations that people used to beat man in this year's game most people are going to use a route combination, essentially like a running back out route. They might use this crosser to Godwin. Um, you know, they could, in theory, use this tight end, route, tight end route. But more than likely, you're probably going to get some type of little backside underneath pattern, like a, like a little, little in route. You know, something like this. This is kind of a general way that a lot of people like to beat man to man. So if I'm running this, and they're feeling a lot of man, a lot of man, a lot of man. And then I go to this SS blitz. Notice again here real quick that this looks fairly similar. There's a little bit of a tell just in terms of where the corners stand. Um, but you can you can easily get around that with if you watch. When I audible to SS blitz one, if I don't manually press, they go to the same spot. So you'll see right here, they go to the exact same spot. So this is our, we're blitzing from man, we're blitzing from man, we're blitzing from man. Then we come out and we actually stay in SS Blitz 2. And what you see is they have reads set up to be man. And now we're in zone. That's the basic chess match that you get into with Madden. And it's why it's important, I think, again, we want to be able to do everything out of the same look. The universal, I think, tip in defense is to make every defense look as close to the same as you possibly can so that they can't necessarily tell if you're in man, if you're in match, if you're in zone, if you're sending pressure, if you're playing max coverage. I think those are some very important tips. So anyways, just wanted to do a quick video here teaching some of these basic principles. If you want to learn the rest of my big nickel over G defense, which I believe is going to be the best defense in Madden 23, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. I'm actually going to be updating our Patreon um, with a, an entire Madden 23 defensive scheme that I found in the beta. And you'll be able to get that by joining the Patreon today. It's only $10 to sign up. There's a link in the description below if you want to do that. Thanks for watching the video, and we will see you guys next time.